You just gotta try this sometime. Go into a junkyard, baby. <laughs> I'm not sure, I don't think I've ever done this before. But uh, anyway, I have a beloved, uh, you've probably seen it in my videos, a beloved 2002 Mitsubishi Montero. Did I mention it was beloved? I've had like four of these things. These things are such great vehicles. Anyway, um, it's in totally perfect condition, except that my seat is ripped here really badly. And then it just stopped working, like this whole thing. So it turns out that like, just to get the bottom part of this thing <laughs> is a thousand dollars. You can get a seat shipped from, guy has one in, in like, uh, gosh, like in Massachusetts. $500 of shipping and $250 for the seat. And then uh, and his, so you have a little tiny rip here. There's always a rip here because this little piece of metal, apparently I've learned. His rip is just a little smaller than this one. But a loss, I went all the way up to Antelope, California. I didn't see any antelopes, but I did realize that uh, you have to get to these junkyards real quick when these things come in because they just get stripped immediately. So I was like, I got there. I also needed the little thing that you roll the window up inside here. And I actually got that from the last place because my window only goes up part way and they got to wait. It goes up part way, got to wait. But anyway, um, yeah. So, so I missed out on the seat. The seat was gone in Antelope. Got the window regulator and motor so I can fix that. Um, and then I noticed today I was like, you know, I was at my ranch. I was like, you know, I guess I just got to start playing this game. All the stuff's discontinued too. They don't make it anymore. It's like, you gotta get to the junkyard. The people at the junkyard said, you gotta get it right when it comes in. I'm like, wow, oh, I guess I gotta keep checking the inventory. Checked the inventory this morning and I found out the one right by my nursery in Richmond, pick and pull. There's only five of these things in the whole like West right now. But pick and, and they've all been picked over because they're all been there for like a month. Pick and pull in Richmond just had one come in two days ago. Like, this is it. I saw it online. I'm like, that's my... It's my big opportunity. So I got all my tools, drove down from the ranch about an hour, had to go to the nursery anyway. And look, just it's been here two days and it's already just been completely gutted out. It's crazy. Um, but uh, I don't know what they did back here. Look at this. Jeez, people just, man, these guys are quick. But luckily for me, the seat is still here. So I'm gonna try my best mechanical skills i'm trying to get this thing out it slid as far forward as possible which means the bolts down here are gonna be hard to get out one here and one over there the ones in the back are uh totally accessible because it slid all the way forward so anyway i'm also hoping this thing's gonna work like when i get it to my place in san diego but it's almost it's almost in perfect condition except for that i will put a cute little in and out burger sticker there and you won't even know it's there you just think I'm cool because I've got an internet sticker. All right, I'll let you know if I'm successful being a mechanic. But this is kind of an adventure. It turns out, too, look at this. <laughs> hey, tell me where the vehicle is. It's in row, row 76, I believe. Uh, yeah, row, let's see. Well, anyway, it's the farthest road. The place is way down there. So I ran all the way back here the very end, just to see if it was here. So I didn't want to drag all my tools back if it wasn't. Then it turns out the seat's still here. So then I had to run all the way back. Mind you, this is before someone else comes to take my seat. You never know. <laughs> I got my tools from way beyond that big building, like way down there. And then I had to run all the way back with my tools. And now I'm ready to go. And actually got lucky because they have these crazy little carts. This, this guy could be my competition right now. Oh, he's getting closer. He's looking at it. He's looking at it. What are you looking at? He's looking at stuff. Yeah. Hey, bud. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Pulling the seat out of here. <laughs> yeah. Gotta get on top of it, man. Look at that. What are you looking for? Uh, I'm just looking for uh, some more parts. Yeah? Yeah. What kind of parts are you looking for? From, from right here, from that. You have a Montero? Yeah. Monteros are awesome, huh? But I don't know if it's the same year. I yeah. forgot to 
It's a 01, I think. Yeah, 01 this one? I think so, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna grab the seat. Oh. Don't you come get the seat. I'm bigger than you are. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm bigger than you. You better have weapons. <laughs> better weapons than me. <laughs> That's really nice. Huh? I, got, I know. Well, it's got a little rip here. Oh, well, but, yeah, I'm going to put a little, put a little sticker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, put a little sticker, you know. Yeah. All right. Well, here I go. I got to right. guard it. Guard it. Guard it. All right. So, as I mentioned, this is extremely difficult trying to get that nut off right there with the very limited amount of space I have because this person was so little that <laughs> they, uh, see, it's going slowly. <laughs> They're so little, they had this thing all the way forward, which I'm hoping means that the motor and all that stuff, automatic seat adjustments work. There we go, a little bit more. Just gotta keep going. But here's the good news. The good news is if I wasn't working so hard on this, I don't think I would have spotted this magical little thing over here. Um, you see it? That's a Jolly Rancher, baby. That's, what you, that's gonna be my little prize when I'm done, when I finally can get this seat out. Jolly Rancher, I think it's fully intact in its wrapper. That's mine. Bonus. Good news. I am uh, that much closer to my Jolly Rancher. I bet I could get to it now. So if you're ever doing this, got four nuts you got to take off these bolts there's one over there by the jolly rancher and then there's one here and there's one there and one there and then oh look at that i see it there it is i see it i see it oh. Oh, 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 oh. there it is Hmm, it's questionable. It's like half is missing, but it's still wrapped. What do you think? <laughs> There's a chance that I could bring this whole thing home. Let's see, what flavor is this? It's green apple. There's a chance that I could bring this whole thing home, put it in, and then this stuff doesn't work. I don't want to jinx it. I think the way of not jinxing it is I got to eat the Jolly Rancher. Let's just... uh Maybe by the time we get out of here and pay. <laughs> to put my glasses on, examine it a little closer. But it looks to be, it's wrapped. Did they, they didn't eat, they didn't like take it out, eat half, take a bite and then wrap it back up, did they? Because I wouldn't want to eat it if they've done that to it. Yeah. Anyway, that's what it's going on. All right, without two people here, you need some help with a wedge. I used this whatever the heck this is, as a wedge on one side, and now I can pop up the other side. And I should be able to free the seat. Here we go. And come up, and come off the bolts. Oh. Do you need two people for this? Oh, look, yay. Oh, <laughs> my lucky day right there. Yeah, you know, I figured out that uh, you make $35 an hour tax-free because the government doesn't know about it uh, when you pick up pennies. I, people said, oh, why would you pick up a penny? I say, that's free money, baby. Um, if you see how much time it takes to pick up a penny off the ground, lean over, pick it up, put it in your pocket, it's like a second, and then you multiply 60 seconds times an hour, that's 3,600 pennies. So it's actually $36 an hour tax-free, which is like $50 an hour. It's not a bad job. Anyway, I'll pick up a penny any day for $50 an hour. If you hunt enough in these vehicles, you can pretty much pay for whatever you're getting. Uh, look, a nickel, I'll take that too. All right, now if you're doing this for real, the next thing you gotta do is pull the skirt up. Maybe you don't pull the skirt up. But what you do do is you gotta get underneath here. You gotta disconnect these wires for the seat heater and the, uh, you know, the power power movement for the seat and all that. So I gotta get in here and do that. I don't know if you can see it. I can't, but maybe you can. Well, once you look at that, I ended up just cutting those because I figure there's no need for, you know, didn't want to ruin the connections and no one's gonna, this thing's gonna get melted sadly. But, <clears throat> got my seat, look at that, there it is. This beautiful thing. Oh, my car's gonna be perfect now. They're gonna think it's brand new. It's like a time machine. It's a 22-year time machine. 
¿Cómo te llamas? Oh, Daniel. Uh, uh, Daniel? Yeah, Daniel. Daniel. Daniel yeah. uh, helped me. He gave me his knife to cut the wires with. Thank you. Mucho gusto. Mucho yeah, gracias. Mucho. What are you looking for, Daniel, at the junkyard? I'm looking for headlight. Headlight. You came so all out back. You, did you see this on the internet? Did you know the car was here? Or did you just walk around and find yeah, it? Yeah, this guy, they don't. They told me on the internet, but they don't shoot the pictures. That's oh, like that's the problem. Yeah, that's I know. The I came right here. And then this is the farthest you could walk. Yeah. I had to walk. I walked all the way out here. And looked in okay. here. It's okay. I do exercise. No I know. Problem. That's what I did. I, I ran. <laughs> I ran. Yeah. And then I got all the way out here, and then I then I yeah. saw the seat was here. That I'm getting. <laughs> so I went all the way back to get my tools, and then came back. Yeah. But you, problem you, is the problem is when you got a heavy part. I know, yeah. but I found they have these little carts. Oh, yeah, yeah, they have a cart, and I took their cart. Oh, you got the little cart. I got from lucky. There? Yeah, I got lucky. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, but uh, but you do you come to this place often, looking for parts a lot? You come here a lot? No, no. It's, uh, I come right here maybe one or two, one time a year. Oh, okay. I come right here because my head like just broke. just for you. You're not a yeah. mechanic. You're not no, a mechanic. Not a mechanic. Okay, yeah. I do in my cars, but it's fun though, isn't yeah. it? Fun coming to the junkyard. You, you, yeah, you, you like coming here? Okay. It's fun. See, if that car is like that, yeah, no problem in the front. Uh huh. I take the headlight. So this is a Subaru. Yeah, this so is the same type. Same same type, same type. Same same, but this is different gear. So you're trying to get one headlight because yeah. what happened to your headlight? Some uh, trailer broke my headlight with a rock. They hit, rock. Uh, they hit a rock. On the freeway. So now. Yeah. So now, you, did you chase him they down? He's right here. Pretty did, good. Did you tell him, hey, you broke my no, life? No, I, I can't. He didn't stop. He didn't stop. No. So now you had to go to the junkyard. Right on. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then, so this one, that's the same same model, but this is a different yeah. year. So This is 2008. This is 2005. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, the one I have over here is a 2001, and I have a 2002 Montero, oh, yeah. Mitsubishi oh, Montero. Montero. Oh. But... See, I went to another junkyard. Uh, 2000, uh, one, one year different is the problem. Yeah. The parts is the same. Right, right, right. I went this to one. Guy, this guy, 2007, 2008, is exactly the same. Oh, okay. But this is 2005. So you got unlucky. You came all the way out here, and this is what you found. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This guy, if I order to internet or auto parts, it's almost $300. $300. Each one. For a headlight. Here, the people say it's $40, $45. 45 bucks. Yeah. The whole seat over there whole is seat, only 70, is like 75. 70. Yeah. To take a look at the internet. Yeah. It's like 1,200. <laughs> <laughs> is it? It's big difference. It's local, no? Yes, which are local. I know. All right, man. Well, I hope you okay. find your light. I'm sorry. Okay, that, buddy. Sorry. I got to take a look over there. Yeah, maybe there's more. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the knife. <laughs> okay. Meet some fun people at the junkyard. That's why you should come here. Just meeting people is a good reason to come here. It's only $3 to get in. And no quieres montar al frente? Hmm? No quieres montar al frente? Siente aquí? <laughs> no? No. Solamente cinco dolores. Me tome tú al frente. You can siente aquí. No? no. <laughs> okay. I'm going to see if I can offer somebody a ride. <laughs> Look at that, man. Somebody could sit here and I could make money by taking them to the front. Yeah. Got my seat. Got my seat. Been watching my videos, you'll know that I'm kind of a classic SUV junkie. Uh, Monteros, I have a Montero, I have a Trooper, I have a Sequoia, and I have two Suzuki Samurais. Look at these things, these are the greatest vehicles ever built by humans, and um, they made very few hard tops. See, this is the hard top, usually it's like a tent, um, but uh. This is the very rare hard top, and I saw this on their inventory. It's just I don't really need anything, but and I have this, mine is the exact same color. And I'm like, oh my gosh! It's the only time, and probably like if I crash mine, I'm gonna wish I bought this whole entire thing. Just can't crash mine. Mine's in almost perfect condition. I just can't crash it. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Should I have bought that whole thing down there? Look, I mean, same color. Look at this beautiful car, people. This is the greatest car ever, ever. It's like super high mileage. Uh, only goes 75 miles an hour. I've never cleaned it, <laughs> but I really should clean it. The guy put some nice seats in it. The guy I bought it from like 10 years ago. And look, it's got 
big area you can store plants or whatever in here. Put the rack on it. I have a little tiny dent right there. I could probably get that fixed. And then a little tiny one here. See that? Uh, and otherwise, just the tiny, tiniest little dings that you would never know on it. But I uh, absolutely love this thing. Could never give it up. Um, but uh, yeah, it was a very sad scene, that one in the junkyard. But anyway, Suzuki Samurai people, if you ever find a really nice one, buy it. I have a little tiny dent right here. But this whole piece is, you know, this piece. I think like, I think this is all one continuous piece. This whole thing, look, it goes kind of here, all the way up, all the whole roof, whole frame, all the way here. It's all of that to here. How would I get that off? Anyway, um, it's too bad somebody didn't restore this thing because this is these things are getting to be really expensive. What they should have done is taken this exact mold of this vehicle and um, got Elon Musk on it and put a little electric motor in it. It wouldn't need much, only weighs 2,000 pounds. Uh, and then uh, create a whole new cool little mini electric Jeep. But uh, yeah, so th this car is known for, uh, the saying of this car is, uh, you might be able to go fast, but I can go anywhere. This car has the highest ascent uh, of any vehicle, any stock vehicle ever. And it went up to like, I don't know, some ungodly uh, elevation on some snow mountain when it had the big tires on These things are modified into four wheel drives all the time and they go on the Rubicon trail and they are better, they're more, more mobile than all of the Jeep Wranglers because the wheelbase is so short and uh, yeah, it's like a four-wheeler stream. There's a whole cult following of these Suzuki Samurais. But um, anyway, kind of sad to see this one uh, in its current state. It's got one little eyeball left. One little eyeball. All right. Here's the other runway. I had to walk from way back there. It's way up here. Like that guy said, it's really good exercise, but yeah. Man's got to take a break every now and then, right? No, just chilling, just chilling, just chilling, just chilling. If you're gonna go to a junkyard, I suggest getting a seat. That way you can take a rest wherever you want. There you go, just like that. I think someone's coming. Hey, can you push me? Can you, no, push me? Yeah. Where, where are you going now? Oh, to the front. Oh man. I'm a, I'm a but can you can you push me? No. Nah, nah. <laughs> Just kidding. Nah, nah. <laughs> you push the gringo. Nah, nah. <laughs> I made another friend, but he said he wouldn't push me. I don't know why. <laughs> All right. I guess I got face reality. I think he thought I was handicapped. <laughs> he almost pushed me. <laughs> I gotta try to catch up to him. You win the coolest vehicle in the junkyard prize. <laughs> this, I saw you pull in, I'm like, wow. I wonder how many times you had to go to the junkyard to put this together. You so it's, it's a blazer? It is, yeah. Did you build the whole thing? I'm uh, going to, yeah. Oh, you're still building it? Yeah, still, yeah. It's gorgeous. Did you put the paint on? How long have you been working on it? Three years? Yeah, so, you, you know, little by little. You live in Richmond? Yeah. Yeah, I, I have a nursery in Richmond. I, oh, yeah. okay. This is my first time I've been to the I junkyard. Know what I did? What's that? I leave the, the light on. Oh, no. My battery died. You know, I have, I could jump you if you have some cables. I could pull right here. Let me do that. You know, you, I bet somebody you know, here I has cables. I don't have a cable. Well, I could park right here and we can find somebody with some cables, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go park. I'll park it. But then, but then you got to give me a tour of your car. You tell <laughs> of me all course, why not? I want to see this. Thing. It's on sale. I want it's, it's, it's on sale. I don't need it. I just like it. <laughs> Everybody like. I'll be over here in a minute. I, I thank you very much. Sure. All right, you got it going. Did you jump it? Here is what's your name? Alfonso Esparza. Alfonso Esposa. 
Sparta. Yes, Sparta. Yes, Sparta. Yes, Bosa. Okay. Whatever. And then... 70, 72K5 laser. So you don't need to smog it? No smog? No, not anymore. No, no. smog. And so, how long have you been working on it? For about two years, two and a half years. What did it look like when you found it? Uh, I have this truck since 1990. Uh-huh. It always got going my driveway. Uh-huh. And lately, I saved money and started rebuilding. Yeah? But it's going to take me a lot of time to rebuild. Did you paint it in the last two years? Yeah. It's not... It's not Fancy. Well, show me that because you got cool seats. Let me show. Let me show. You. Let's see the this inside. Is my, my own style. It's this not. Sh- it's not the real one. Yeah. Let me see. This is great. This is cool. This is the coolest car here. Got the big old wheels. I don't like the uh, sofa. So this is from a newer one, right? Yeah. This, this is, is from. New, yeah. Yeah. This is from the new Sierra. Uh, new, new Sierra. Did you get up. this from a junk yard? No, I bought them new. Oh, you bought it brand new. And then, all right. So here's. Look at these seats, they're so cool. Yeah, there is a... uh, I make my own racket to put this kind of... Oh, really? Yeah, because I don't like the the sofa. Uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I like it like that. Are you a mechanic or what do you do? Uh, I can do everything about everything. A little bit of everything. What about the ladies? Uh, not anymore. I'm too old. You're too old for the ladies, but you can do everything but the ladies. I bet you can no, still. I'm still do, I'm, I'm a still try. I bet you can still do the ladies. <laughs> and then you put a little sound system in here. Yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, I build all these boxes. Did you make all this upholstery? Yeah, yeah. I did everything, this yeah. is incredible, man. You did all the carpet on the side. It's everything, yeah. Look at yeah. this beautiful carpet. Everywhere you look, it's like brand new. Look at this. It, what? I mean, it seems like. All you would need to do to get the ladies is to have a truck like this. Because you could fit three of them in here, right? Uh, or maybe more? One is enough. Okay. <laughs> one is enough. <laughs> okay. So, anyway, we got the trailer hitch on it. You got the old school license plate. Yeah. Uh, yeah, look at this thing, man. This thing is cool. Uh, and how many miles on it? How many miles? It, it, the motor, new motor. Oh, it's a new it's motor. A, it's a new motor. Oh, I mean, okay. Not new, rebuilt. Uh huh. Motor, I get the motor from uh, Power Torque. They, okay. They got uh, a good reputation rebuild motors, but it's, oh. it's not even. You know, this is my summer truck. I, so, I was gonna say. No. You don't drive in the rain. No, no. Why not? I don't like with the hard top. Oh, you got a hard top for it? Yeah, it, it, is, it is. Oh my God! So no, I don't like. I like it like this. Yeah. So does it leak at all? No. Like when you you, no. you have to park it in the garage or outside? Inside in the garage. In, in the garage. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Right on. Yeah. All right. Well, I just wanted to say this is. Can we see under the hood? Yeah. All right. Let's see under the hood. K5 Blazer, baby. This is Dude, cool. This truck is older than you. This truck is older than me. No. No, I'm old. I'm older than you think. I just act young. I look well, old and acting. Look at this, man. It's amazing how much space there is in these old engines. Now it's just filled with wires. That's because there's a lot of space that the engine looks small, but it's not as small. The only the only thing that the car, the uh, robot built too wide. Uh huh. And you put the engine in? Yes, I did. You did everything. Yes, yes. You really do know how to do everything. Uh, a little bit about it. Wow, that's awesome. Um, you know, I'm, uh, I'm a Mexican. You know. I know. I, you know I, why? There's two different types of people in this world. Yeah. Mexicans and Mexicans. Oh. Almost all Mexicans, the reason they call them Mexican, because they can do everything. everything. I'm one of them. Yeah, they should call like gringos in the United States, you should call them Americans. <laughs> <laughs> because they don't know how to do anything. All right, man. Well, this is really a fun tour. Yeah, Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you for the tour. Uh, is this for sale? It is for sale. How much? 45. 45,000? Yeah. Okay, how do they they call you? Yeah, it, it's an uh, over up. It's in what? Over up. Over up. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, do you want people to call you if they want to buy it? Yeah, it, it, all the information is there. Okay, you want to give I, your. I, I don't know if my son put them on Greg Lee's too, but I don't, you know, I don't like to put them on Greg Lee's because, you know, too many people call you. Oh, yeah. Enough. Well, you should charge them $50 to come see it. That's no, what I would do. Yeah. A hundred. A hundred. You're right. A hundred. It's going to be a hundred dollars if you want to come see this car. It's going to cost 150 if you want to test drive it. Do you want to give your phone number or no? Uh, not, not really. Not really. Not really. <laughs> right. No, I don't, I don't wear a cellular anyway. 
Yeah. I'm a, I don't know nothing about technology. All right. If you want to get a hold of uh, uh, this car, you leave a message, and then I'll tell you where to go. All right. And that's it. Thanks so much. I like your hat. Oh. <laughs> you know why you like my hat? Because <laughs> it looks Mexican. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look. Look who's behind me. <laughs> it's Alfonso. There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, yeah. Those are my feet. This is my field. Those are my bees. And there's my other Suzuki Samurai. Look at that thing. <laughs> Don't you love it? Look at this classic, man. I call this the ranch buggy. I bought it for 1500 bucks, like 10, 12 years ago. Hardly anything's gone wrong with it. I use it all the time on the ranch. It would go anywhere. Four wheel drive, tires are a little bigger. It's really light, so it floats over all the mud, tows the trailer. And uh, this thing is a little workhorse, and it's totally fun. I've got a Suzuki Samurai rally course. This thing fits perfect on it. And uh, it runs clockwise, is the way I do it. And it, uh, I know it doesn't go through here. It goes around the tree that way, but it comes out of that tunnel. That's the funnest part right there. Most fun. Blown through there, come up this way, go around this tree, drift a little bit around the tree, and there's the biggest straightaway all the way down there. You get to the end of the oranges and you hang a hard right. You got to break and then go right and squeal it. Yeah. yeah. You have to know the soil conditions. If it's really loose mud, you'll just slide into the baseball field. But if it's, uh, you know, you just got to play it the way uh, the conditions are. Uh, anyway, it goes way up there and around there, all the way down there, and neighbors think I'm crazy. Um, I only do it late at night. <laughs> Too embarrassed to do it during the daytime, truthfully. <laughs> I've never done it once in the daytime. But I figure at night, they just hear a car revving. They don't know what's going on. See my headlamps going in all directions. So anyway, that's the samurai, folks. All right, good news. My buddy dropped off my seat. I flew down here. He drove. And now it's time to uh, put this bad boy in here. Because I need to get down to the beach. Meet all my buddies and go for a surf. Get this thing out. Do this nasty thing. It's all torn up. Won't work. So hopefully that'll be a little different by the time I get it all dialed in. Guys, this is turning out to be a pretty lucrative project. Look, I popped the little covers off for the bolts, and look what I found. It just popped right out, and that gets better. Look closely. Look, look, that's it's a dime, baby. That's 11 more cents. We are paying for this seat little by little. That's probably been there the whole, since the whole time since I bought this thing. Okay, on this car, let's see what works. I don't think anything works. Nope. really works this seat is really all the way back because i'm a pretty big guy which exposes these bolts really nicely but the ones in the back are darn near impossible to reach because they can't move the seat they're like tucked way into there anyway and it's just gonna be another struggle oh well hopefully the new seat works after all this i will be freaking if it doesn't really freaking <laughs> at least it doesn't have this all right, are you guys entertained by embarrassing stuff that the host of the TV show does? <laughs> um, it's really awkward to get these bolts out of here because I'm having to go so far under the seat to get them because I can't move the seat because the seat doesn't work, which is why I got the new seat. But what's kind of funny and embarrassing is I got up, my friends were like, hey, get down to the beach, we're all going surfing, we're gonna be down there. I'm like, okay, great. What I like to do, suit up before I go. So I suited up. It's only like a 20 minute drive. By the time you get there, you're still hot in your car and your wetsuit. You're just dying to get into the cold ocean. <sighs> uh, but then I forgot that I had to change my seat and I just cannot drive like this anymore. I get crazy sad pain here because I'm being forced into this thing because this thing's so far forward. It will not. Straight out, I need to be back more. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to 
<laughs> put the seat in real quick before I go to the beach. And it's a bit of a process putting the suit on. And I'm like, I could do it real quick. So now I'm suffering in this wetsuit. <laughs> Well, while I pull the seat out, this better not take long. I'm really motivated to get done quick. And that's what's embarrassing. Yeah. Success. A vehicle without a seat. These clips are really tricky, but I figured it out. Anyway, if you're going to do this, uh, <laughs> you want to get your football out. <laughs> jammed under there. It's a perfect wedge to keep the seat up while you're trying to pull these wires out. Anyway, now we can see how big of a pig I am and the people before me. And all the stuff that falls down that you can't get inside your car. So I'm going to clean all this up. It's going to, oh, look. Ha! Ha, ha, ha! More money! Okay, the undersided seat looks great again. Just like the good old days when it was brand new, more or less. Um, just vacuumed it out. And uh, that's as clean as it's going to be probably for uh, the rest of this vehicle's life. Assuming this seat uh, continues to work and I don't need to get another one. Let's put it in. All right, of course, it's taken longer than I thought. <laughs> in this wetsuit, brutal. So there's the football. There you go, that's the placeholder. Getting ready for the field goal. Anyway, it makes it a lot easier to get these wires in, so I'm gonna hook these things up right now. All right, it's all back together, but this is actually worse than before. It's reclined right, but look, this person was tiny and they had it all the way forward. <laughs> I'm not gonna fit in there. That's gonna be just as bad for different reasons. So I'm hoping these controls work. And um, yeah, now it's on there, it's not bolted down. We're gonna put the key in, this is the moment of truth. We definitely have a better condition seat. It doesn't have all this stuff there, but we'll have to see if it works. Please, 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 please plant gods. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay, look. That's all I really need, because this thing's already reclined now. Does the recline work? You know, if other people want to use my vehicle. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's the lumbar. It doesn't really matter. And uh, there it is. Look at that. All right, I want to talk about the things I learned on this project. It's really fun to go to junkyards, meet some fun people there. And you can get stuff for dimes on the dollar, uh, maybe nickels. And... Uh, yeah, and I also learned that if you really, really, really want to get stuff done fast, put your wetsuit on and tell yourself you're not going to take it off until you're done with the project. So I was motivated to get this thing done. And I'd go to the beach in style, lean this thing back. I'm going to be so comfortable. I also want to dedicate this uh, video to a friend of mine. Now, these Mitsubishi Monteros always had a little piece of metal down here. I could feel it right there. And it always makes a, a rip in the leather right here, almost always these uh, seats that are 20 something years old. So I, uh, inside that little rip, it's not very big, it's like that big. It's the only imperfection in this seat. Otherwise it looks like a brand new car again. That's 2002, 22 years old. And I love it to death. Uh, and so I put a little bit of protective, uh, thick kind of almost cardboardy paper in there, separating the leather, what's remaining of the leather and the, uh, the metal. And then my buddy, Ed Regans, who owns Thrasher Magazine, planted some palms for him. He actually sends me these really cool stickers so I can cover up anything in my life that needs to be covered up. He doesn't have one big enough for my face yet, but I'm still hoping one of these days. Uh, anyway, this was hard to attach in here. I'm thinking about putting a little super glue in here and just getting it really good. But there's my Thrasher, my matching black Thrasher magazine uh, sticker there. Thanks, Ed. And uh, let's go to the beach, get this wetsuit in the ocean. All right, there are only two more things to do here. One is this. Two, get in the ocean. Woo, get us new, baby. It's a Bishi Montero, get one. Are you gonna get it? Yeah, look at that left. I'm gonna go hang out over there. That's where I'm gonna go. Let's sit on that left. Nobody over there. Okay, it's still going. Still going. Still going. Your legs are getting crampy to be on that wave. Still going. Still going. Still going. And it disappears into the bushes. Still goes. Do you, you think they're going to hassle me um, at the uh, security checkpoint when I go to the airport tomorrow? <laughs>
So I'm packing up as usual, and I got some great avocados, all these different ones, all these fun stuff. I couldn't resist picking a bunch of my kumquats. But uh, well, I'm packing all my avocado seed to take with me. <sighs> yeah, all this good stuff. But then I suddenly realized that there was one more thing I had to do with the seat thing. <laughs> I found my Jolly Rancher. So here we go. We're gonna do the Jolly Rancher. It's a little sticky. We gotta open up here. Ooh, for good luck, we have to eat this. And here it comes. Oh, it's really slimy. It's gonna pop out. I have to open this off camera. It's a two-hand job. It was almost as tough as getting a wetsuit off. <laughs> anyway, here it is. And uh, like I said before, for good luck, we, we have to do it. It's a little cringy, I know. I don't know if there's a shelf life for these things. It was a little sticky on the wrapper, but... I don't usually do these. I like chocolate. It's not bad. Not bad. Anyway, now we're really finished.